Hi everyone, get in the know with Toya. So today we are going to be doing exercises with dumbbells. So if you have some dumbbells, go ahead and grab those as well as a yoga mat. If you don't have dumbbells, you can always use two bottles of water or just go find something in your house that you can use in place of the dumbbells. Now, before we start, of course, make sure you stretch and get that body loosened up, get that blood flowing and get those muscles ready. And everyone warm up is different. So whatever works for you, that's what you do. Okay, so for the first exercise, you're only going to need one dumbbell. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. What you're going to do is, you're going to take your legs and spread, spread them apart a little bit. And you're going to have your dumbbell like this. And what you're going to do is, when your arms go up, you're going to squat. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna do 10 of these. So, are you ready? I think you are. Let's get started. Seven, nine, ten. Now, if you're for it, go ahead and do ten more. But I want to go ahead and move on to the next exercise. And for this one, all you need is one dumbbell as well. And what we're going to do is, you're going to take the dumbbell and your right or left arm, whichever arm you choose to start with. And what you're going to do is, bring your arm up, straight up, spread your legs apart. Make sure you are standing as straight as you can and you are planted because I don't want anyone tilting over when doing this. So plant yourself, get control of your body, arm straight. And what you're gonna do is, while having your arm up, you're gonna go down like that. Not forward and not back, but just straight down. And basically what you're doing, if your hand can touch the floor and you can balance it, that's fine if you only can get to your ankle that's fine if you can um, touch your foot that's fine as well and we are going to do five on each side one two three Four, five. Change arms. Up. One. Two. Three. and five. Oh, I hope you can feel the stretch in your back. 
especially for people who feel like their back stiffens up. That helps really, really well. But so now we are going to move on to some arm swings, guys. So we're gonna need one dumbbell for this as well. So we're gonna grab that dumbbell again. And what you wanna do is spread your legs apart. And what we are gonna do is for each arm, we are gonna do five, okay? So what you do is you take it and you just go ahead Swing it up like that. Make sure you keep your arms straight, okay? And firm back as well. You don't wanna put any strain on your back and just make sure you're lifting. If you have a weight that's, you feel is too heavy to do this exercise, get something that's lighter so that you can make sure that you lift in correctly and you're not putting a strain on anything, okay? So let's start. One, two, four, five. That was easy, huh? Next arm, same thing. Three, five. I'm not finished, guys. You thought it was going to be that easy? No, we're going to do it again. This time, we're going to do 10, okay? You can do it. Trust me, you can do it. One. Ten. See? Next arm. Ten. All right. Ten. Now, go ahead and shake it out. Do whatever you have to do shake it but grab your other dumbbell because we need both of them this time so what we're going to do is the dumbbell roll and you guys I hate to say it but I don't really like this one this much I hate doing it I really do but I know I need to do it, so <sighs> you guys are here with me, so I know I'll be able to get through it. And uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to do 10, but <sighs> we're going to get through it together. So I don't want anyone cheating, okay? Make sure you actually have your arms, you're lifting it just like this okay not this but actually lifting it because <laughs> i know it can be tempting to do that especially if you're someone who really don't have a lot of upper body strength i know i'm not the best with <sighs> doing these but we're going to get it through it together so you guys ready Let's go. Three, four, five, seven, one more, and ten. Oh. Guys, we did it, we did it, we did it. I don't think these exercises are extremely hard, but these are things that we can do 
before we get ready to take our shower, before going to bed, you know, get that heart racing and, you know, just also making sure that we get exercise. With everything going on, we can't get out as much as we can, you know, to actually exercise. Some people prefer being in the gym. It's just not me. I do better with doing outdoor things. I'd rather play volleyball or tennis or something like that. But right now, with everything going on, we have to do what we can indoors. So you have to make it work. And I hope that you enjoy these exercises and you make them a part of your routine. Try some of them out if you like it, continue doing it and keep pushing yourself. The more you keep at things, the better you're going to get at it. And thank you again for tuning in to the video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Y'all, I was working hard, okay? And make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button right there, okay? And ring that bell so that you can get notified when I post a new video. And you're welcome to leave a comment. I hope you guys had fun, but I'm out of here. See you next time.